Hi everybody, it's Dr. Vonda Wright, again in my kitchen where I'm talking today about how to get your house really clean. Now, I know we're all being told to wipe down all the surfaces, but I think a fun activity with your kids while you're home would help them help you by cleaning off surfaces, but it's kind of hard to conceptualize where germs are. So a trick that I've learned from teachers, I didn't make this up, is to use flour. So I have a plate of flour and I'm gonna stick my hand in it. And what comes off represents uh, the germs. Maybe it's the COVID-19 germs. And then we go all over the house, like what we normally touch when we come in the door. And we, live, we leave little white handprints. Now, that will inform us about why all surfaces need to be cleaned because we don't even know the germs are there. So we're doing this at my house this week because what I haven't told you guys is this whole first week of uh, the COVID uh, shutdown that we've been doing, my mom's been in the hospital and we finally get to bring her home. So we need to make sure that our house is totally COVID free for her because she's vulnerable, as is my 80 year old dad. So we've all been going around the house wiping down every surface with these Clorox wipes. But I gotta tell you, we are burning through these things. So I remembered a trick that my college roommate showed me when she was having her children, where she made her own. And so I made my own and I wanna show you how to do this because we're gonna burn through a lot of these. So I just took any old container, this is a Dunkin' Donuts coffee container. We drink a lot of coffee in this house. And one roll of paper towels and a serrated knife. And so I just measured how tall the towels would fit inside of this bucket. And I cut off the paper towels about right here. Now that's kind of a messy job, it's kind of fun. But a serrated bread knife is exactly what you need for it. Once you've gotten that done, then all you have to do is take the roll out of the middle. It's pretty simple to unwind. That's the first step. Second step is take a half a gallon of water and add a quarter cup or use the uh, instructions on the back of the Clorox bottle and put Clorox in the water and then fill the bottom of your container a third full and put your paper towels in and let it just absorb. And then if the fluid doesn't reach the top, pour the cleaning fluid over the top. And then it turns out like this, and I've done my whole house this way, all the, all the surfaces that would tolerate it, all the granite, and it comes out just like it does in the store. And it cost me, well, that kind of tore, they're a little fragile, but it cost me almost nothing because we're gonna burn through these ones in the store if you can even find them. So that's my pro tips for how this surgeon is preparing my house for a sick parent. Because just like you, I'm a sandwich generation. I have children, I have myself and my husband, and I have my 80 year old parents all in one place. So it's really important. So remember, we're gonna stay calm, we're gonna stay informed, and we're gonna stay prepared.